Our first guest is an Academy Award nominated actor starring in a title role in the title role of the uh, new film Iron Man. It opens on Friday. Here's the always entertaining Robert Downey Jr., ladies and gentlemen. You look great. You, you look like you're uh, in, in tremendous shape. And is it uh, because you're in tremendous shape, or did you do the movie and you had to be in tremendous shape, or am I just wrong? Uh, let's see. It could be any uh, combination of those elements. Right. Sometimes, you know, suit makes the man. <laughs> yeah. I was in shape when we were doing the movie. I can't say. I've been basically eating my, I've been circumnavigating the globe, doing all this, the press tour and everything. Actually did travel the globe promoting the film, Oh, yeah, right? Australia, Korea, Germany, France, Italy, wow. the UK, and now here. Well, is it, it's a combination of exhausting and fun, is that right? Absolutely. I mean, you know, you get, you get fed from people enjoying uh, watching the movie and all that mm -hmm. stuff, but then, you know, you're basically repeating this, oh, what was it like in the suit, or whatever. Or if you could have a superpower, don't worry about that question, we'll get there. It's gonna, I mean, it's different. You're gonna this cross that the, off the And list. of all the stuff I've done and all the places we've been, I just, I honestly have to say this, when uh, John Favreau, the director, and I got off, he got off and kissed the tarmac mm -hmm. on the ground, and just being here now and being in, in New York and back in the States and being on your show to me is the big Well, God fantastic. bless you, that's very nice of you to say. It's the truth. <laughs> it happens to be the truth. Well, good, thank you. <laughs> Um, and then, was it this morning you opened the uh, stock market? Yeah. What is that? I mean, I've, I've heard of it. It's a, what do you, what do, you do? You, uh, well, I, you, basically, you ring the bell, and uh, fancy that, though, me starting, commencing uh, the global finance. Come a long <laughs> way, baby. <laughs> Boy, that's a lot of trust. <laughs> and I'm walking through the place on the way, and, you know, walking me through the floor, and this Fabergé egg, and I'm just looking around going, back in the day, this would have been the ultimate club space. <laughs> nice, huh? Yeah. Uh, by the way, how's your son? Indio is, uh, is doing real well. He's 14? He's 14. Now, t tell me, is, uh, what is that? What do I have ahead of me? 14-year-old boy. What is that going to be like? Oh, it's fine. Really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't believe you. I don't believe you. Well, it depends if you got a well-adjusted kid and all that. You know, I'm thinking my son, uh, he's a very normal and, 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 and surprisingly like a very uh, together young man, considering the fact that he's, he's, most of his friends are other, you know, kids of Hollywood freakouts. Mm. So um, <laughs> I think I should get him just a really ghastly summer job to kind of keep his humility, uh -huh. you know. Like, what would that be? Well, no, historically, what did I do? I, when I wasn't a semi-professional uh, sweater thief, um, <laughs> that's a whole other story. Sweater thief, huh? Yeah, well, sweaters and <laughs> shoes, that was my, my specialty <laughs> items. Anyway, I worked at uh, Thrifties. Yeah. Oh, Thrifties. Yeah. It's like a, a drugstore, like every drug, like one-stop yeah, shopping. On the place. West Coast, and, yeah. and me and Reed and Lino, my buddies, mm -hmm. we were running a kind of a, a grifter scam on the entire institution. Really? Yeah, where someone like, then our friend like Steve would come in and he'd be like, hey Bob, how much is this lawnmower? And I'd say, Lino? Lino says, 18 cents, thank you. And then he'd give us, <laughs> so we were running. Then I got put in inventory, so which is. Sold him a lawnmower for 18 cents. <laughs> That's great. Then my probation was, they knew something was wrong, they put me in uh, inventory. Mm -hmm. Oh, inventory, was, that seems like a mistake, just it, off the top of my you. head. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't seem like a good idea. <laughs> no. And we're like, you know, and we're, and we're smoking weed. So it's kind of like giving like a, it's like giving a koala bear a Rubik's Cube. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Something like that. Uh -huh. Sure. Then I was uh, relegated to uh, ice cream detail. Then uh -huh. they had like five, ten. So at the end of the day, like my, basically my arms smelled like dairy for a year. Mm. They still do. Is that a bad? Is that a Well, you should a check bad? it out. No, you I'm smell? fine. I'll Are take you sure? your word for it. Uh, now, uh, tell me about this uh, movie because I'm a guy... Uh, who knew not much about Iron Man. Right. Uh, and, and then I see this uh, uh, write-up uh, about you, a profile of you in the New York Times, and now I'm, I'm suddenly very interested because they're saying the combination of the material and you as the actor is going to be tremendous. So now I'm really excited to go see this thing. So I go to see it, and I've seen superhero movies before, but all of a sudden, I, I, I love this movie. And I'm thinking, it's because you're in this and you've done something to the material. Am I right about that? Well, close enough. It's like anything. John Favreau, the director, you know, from from Swingers right. and directed Elf and all that. And I just made this combination. And I basically came into the trailer every morning and balled up the script and threw it against the wall. And he said, "Good morning, Robert." Uh. And as I take it, you'd like to rewrite the scene. I guess we just. I just knew that at some point I'd be here talking to you or going on tours and stuff. And it sucks when you're talking to someone that you know hates the movie right. that you're there promoting. So we thought, why not make one that doesn't stink for a change? Well, this was uh, mission, <laughs> mission accomplished. Uh
But that's that's what I wanted to know. And, and I was nervous about Favreau because he kept sneaking into scenes. And I kept saying, no, no, get behind the camera. We don't want you. You're the <laughs> well, director. Stop doing First of all, that. I think he's probably here. Don't feel bad, John. Um, <laughs> No, he, all he would say is like, yes, sir, no, sir, come on. If I was directing the thing, I would have been like, let me show you how Tony would have done it. I got this. Let me put on a suit. But is, is he, now is he, uh, does he have to stick exactly to the script? Is that his responsibility as the how director? How do you stick to a script that I've balled up and thrown against yeah. the wall? Yeah. And then there's all of the stuff like the, the robot uh, fight scene at the end. Correct. How, how do you d direct something like that? Um, by by being by the sensibilities that someone like John has is very eclectic, and he knows what audiences like to watch. Mm -hmm. He also knows he's not a big fan of CGI, so we try to shoot a, a lot of it. CGI is the computer, the computer generated. generated. Yeah, yeah so yeah. you know you try to shoot a lot of it practically mm -hmm. or in tracking suits, more like like Polar Express right. style or some of its animation. I don't know a damn thing. I mm -hmm. can't believe I opened the stock exchange this mm -hmm. morning and asked me about CGI. <laughs> I couldn't even press a button, Mr. Letterman. Well, talk about stuff like that. Look uh -oh. at this. This is amazing. There you are. That's the uh, Iron Man right there. There I am. And this is the one that uh, I love this. You take the little helmet off, and there you're right inside there. Can you see that? I am right inside there. <laughs> now, what? Yeah. Who? That's not bad. That's not bad. Well, but who actually comes to mind when you see that? Uh, I, what do you think? I would say Scott Bale. <laughs> <laughs> and then if from this angle, a little tilt down, I'm getting Gabrielle Byrne. Uh -huh. But still in all, there you go. You got your own little action figure. And, and your son, is he at the age where he's delighted by this or he thinks this is a silly? If he's 14 and this delights him, <laughs> we got problems. <laughs> He probably, yeah, I suppose so. I yeah. didn't look at it like that. Let me just sit him right over there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so the, uh, uh, the, the, the where, did, where all was the film shot? Where was the, the, the Middle East stuff filmed? Uh, we shot that in Lone Pine, California. It's like half, really? yeah, halfway between LA and Mammoth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and then the rest of the stages, which were actually where Howard Hughes built uh, the Spruce Goose. You know who uh, was uh, here a couple of days ago? Maybe yesterday. Uh, Gwyneth Paltrow. Gwyneth Paltrow, indeed. Oh, man, are you kidding me? You like that, huh? Well, she's, you know what? <laughs> you like you know what I liked about her is she's, uh, she's uh, lovely, but she's also just seemed like a, a nice, regular human being. You she know? really is. Yeah. You get along well during the film? Yeah. I mean, it, you know, not that, not that it's difficult. Mm hmm Yeah. You know? We, uh, though, I mean, if I had to say there was one problem, it's that she's naturally about eight feet tall. <laughs> it was basically doing scenes like this, if it was like Pepper. Well. I'm going, Pepper, Pepper, we've got to save the planet. Tony, you'll die. <laughs> but I can see where it's So I wanted to shoot the scene where it was like this, uh -huh. like that, Pepper. <laughs> You know what I mean. Yeah, I you know what I'm getting at. Yeah, but not without a certain advantage. Yeah. Uh, now, <laughs> let's. Uh, <laughs> this uh, movie opens on on uh, uh, Friday, and, th and this is going to be an enormous uh, film. Uh, what's the clip we're going to see here, Robert? Uh, this is where uh, Tony Stark has become Iron Man and decided to go handle business, and uh, the good guys don't know quite what's going on just right, yet. Let's take a look. Iron Man opening Friday. If you get one of those suits. <laughs> well, very entertaining film. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much for really being good here. To you, good to Thank see you. you again. It opens Friday. Iron Man. We'll be right back with Alicia Keys. <laughs>